Roasting is an art, and Van Hoot has been mastering it for almost a century. I'm here with Richard Claremont, Van Hoot's roasting expert. And Richard, we still carry on many of Albert Louis's traditions today. Yes, Albert Louis was roasting coffee at the back of his shop. So Richard, what is roasting? Green coffee beans are placed in a roaster at a temperature up to 200 degrees Celsius for a specific time. Um, proteins and sugar will uh, caramelize, acidity and tannins will uh, dissipate, and um, bitterness will appear. Um, coffee will lose from uh, 14 to 24 percent in weight and will uh, gain 50 percent in volume. And how does a roaster work? The green coffee is stuck on the top of the roaster, will fall into the drum. When the roast is finished, we open up the door, the coffee falls into the cooling pan. We cool down the coffee to make sure we stop all the chemical reactions and make sure also that we trap the aromas inside the beans. After cooling, the coffee goes through a cleaning device to make sure there is no foreign material in the coffee. And uh, after that, the coffee is ready to be used. So what's the difference between light, medium and dark coffee? I like coffee will have more acidity, more fruitiness. A medium roast is more balanced as a better buddy, and a dark coffee is more caramelized and more bitterness and cocoa notes. Why was Albert Louis famous for his blends? There is two ways to do a coffee blending. Blend before roasting, where you roast all the green coffee together, and blend after roasting, where you roast green coffee separately and you mix them after roasting. That's how he created the house blend. Great, thanks Richard. My pleasure.